Hi friends and welcome to my channel. We're just gonna go ahead and do May's floral nursery tour. We're right outside her room. Uh, upstairs in our house. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do a quick walk through with you. So here are these two rascals right here. Oh, did your music turn off? Um, so this is May's room. We went with a gray color on the wall and with white accents and then coral and mint is kind of our color scheme. Okay. So we'll just start off right when you come in the door. We have a shelf that is hung a little wonky just because of where the studs were in the wall. My husband put this up. And up here we have extra pacifiers, which are always necessary. We have this cross stitch that was made for us from a baby shower. And this is the music that you might have heard playing. It plays You Are My Sunshine. And May loves to watch that from her crib and do a little, a little booty dance. So that's our shelf right there that we just love. And then we come on over here and we have our Jenny Lind crib. Don't we, May Bay? And this crib, we really like. It comes with wheels, which we took off. We did a gray and white stripe. I will have all of the pink colors listed down below um, because I'm not 100% sure what they are all off the top of my head. But we did a gray and white stripe on this wall behind the crib. This room is a very interesting shape. As you can see, I'm not sure if you can really see this, but this, it comes down this way and then is a flat wall here and then goes that way. And when we saw this house, we I was pregnant and I knew that this would be the nursery and I knew that the crib would go right here if it fit and it did, which is so awesome. So this, I'll come a little bit closer. This floral M I actually made. I saw one on Pinterest that I was in love with, but it was like $200. And so I actually went to um, Joanne Fabric, I believe, where I got the M and I got the flowers and the ribbon and I hung it up and I just, I, I really like it. I think it turned out really, really well and much less expensive. So I was very pleased with that. If we come on over here, we have um, this dresser. This was actually my childhood dresser and a matching bedside table over beside the chair on the other side. But this dresser we painted mint. This dresser, do you like the pup? She's pointing at the dog right now. Yeah. This dresser is kind of a family heirloom. It was my mother's as well, so. It was nice that we got to paint it and, and still use it, which saved us a lot of money, and it's a very sturdy piece of furniture. If we come a little bit closer, we have a little changing pad just on top of the dresser. That way we can use the dresser as a changing table and not buy an additional piece of furniture. We have her video monitor, which we've never hung up, and it works pretty well right there. And that way we don't have to put additional holes in the wall. A lot of people ask me what this little light here is for. Well, so if you have a baby who has a poopy diaper or an overly saturated diaper in the middle of the night, we don't want to have to turn all the lights on. So if you have just a very small light right here, you can change their diaper quite easily. You can see what you're doing to get all the poop off, and that way you don't have to turn on any additional lights. So that's what that is for right there. And then over here we just have our diaper changing station. Um, so these are the Target brand diapers that we use for the daytime, and then we use the... Pampers Baby Dry, uh, the 12 hour protection at night. She's in size four diapers. Uh, she leaks through these at night, but does fine with them during the day. So we switch to those at night. We've got just some Kirkland wipes, coconut oil, which I swear by, Honest uh, Company lotion, nose Frida replacements, baby Tylenol, which was a gift we've honestly never used. It's actually better if the fever is um, not too high to let them have a fever and you shouldn't use it for teething either because too much Tylenol can actually hurt baby's bodies. We have hand sanitizer and then just some little, I have just a little stack of towels here. Sometimes if she's got a, a bad diaper rash, I like to not use the, um, the wipes on her. I'll just use uh, if it's only a wet diaper, just use a little wash rag, and then also we might use a wash rag to get uh, diaper paste off of our, our fingers or something like that. Um, her diaper paste is around here somewhere. I'm not 100% sure where. She likes to um, hold that while we change her diaper so it gets flung around the room sometimes. Now up above the dresser, this is something that I love, love, love. It's kind of hard. To, oh, there we go. Now I've got the glare off. So we have this 
uh, print here, which I got online, I'll link below, a picture of Zoe, one of my maternity pictures. Um, these are all looking a little crooked. I tried to fix them before we got started. Um, a picture from my wedding that has my whole family and then a picture for, with uh, all of Joe's family. Is that all your grandparents? You love them? Yeah. Next to the dresser, we have our diaper genie where all of our soiled diapers go. And then next to the chair, we actually have a little trash can that I have emptied since. Um, but that's where any other additional trash will go. This chair right here, we got from Toys R Us. That pillow was actually on clearance from Anthropology. It says, you are lovely. The blanket is from Target. And then these are Ikea um, picture frame holders that we actually use for a bookshelf. So we have some really, really good books up there. Some that are a little bit old for her. These are our maternity pictures. She loves she loves to look at pictures of people, so she really likes that. Board books, which is what we're really into right now. She loves to turn the pages. And then some books, a little bit bigger books up here that we kind of have to definitely keep an eye on with her. Right here we have uh, that vintage bedside table that again we painted mint green and a little, a little box right there of just keepsakes. She has a window in here. Now initially this window just had those really pretty pink curtains around it, but they were very sheer, so um, I needed something to block out the light. So I put in these other, they're actually very, very ugly. They're flipped around inside out because this side is hideous um, to block the light out, and it works for now. Eventually we'll probably uh, get something else, but it totally works for now. So right around here we have her closet. It's actually quite a large closet, I'll show you. That says Hello Spring, we had May in May, so that's why we did that. Oh, there's my Starbucks and my tripod from what I was filming in here. Um, I'm just gonna go over this real quickly. Extra stuff, this is from Ikea. This holds a whole host of things. We've got blankets and bibs, stuffed animals, toys, we love that. Oops, over here we just have extra books that don't fit on that bookshelf. We kind of cycle them in and out. Breastfeeding pillows, a fan for the summer because her overhead fan doesn't work that well. It's very small. One thing I will say about this closet, um, obviously it's not super well organized. The one thing I really regret buying are these little clothes organizers. I don't use them. I only ever have out the clothes that fit her, although they are stinking adorable. So if we step back out of the closet and come around, May is currently playing with this trash can over here. We have uh, this relatively blank wall. I'm not 100% sure what else to do here. We have this cute little sign that I got, I think, at Home Goods that says, You are my sunshine, which is a song that Joe's father always sang to his kids. Hence that and this. So we are back at the door. And that is May's floral nursery room tour. Thank you guys so much for watching. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm doing a new video or vlog every day in February for Vloguary. Have a good day, guys. Bye.